Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today's video is going to be showcasing some just freaking cool builds, bro. Just some really unique cool builds for your island ideas to inspire you that you've never seen before in Animal Crossing. This first island, by the way, is so gorgeous. It's like called Viridian and it's totally green. It's so lovely. And the idea on this island is Sprocket's Recycling Center. This is so interesting. There are so many items here that I've never even used on one of my islands. I love the plants here that are brought in to make it feel more lush, I suppose. I love the use of, gosh, what are these called? Oh my god, the moving thing. They use them next to cash registers. Oh my gosh, hello. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This conveyor belt, yes, that is leading these recycling items. Look at all of these. Look at all of the items in use here. I also love this giant tank item. I just like it looks really cool next to Sprocket's house. I also just love that it is Sprocket's house here. This is a villager home build. This is so cool though. We've got the recycled paper. So you're seeing like how the recycling things are, you know, being used, being created. It's really cool. There's little recycling bins out front behind the fence. There's a recycling sign. I just think this is adorable. The interior of Sprocket's house is also decorated with this vibe in mind, which I think is super cool. I don't usually check interiors too, but the uh, island creator included the interior in the submission and I thought it looked phenomenal. I also love that Sprocket just happened to be home for this. So thank you, King, for that. The lighting in here is so nice as well. Wow. What a vibe. This is just really cool. What a cool build. This lovely island is called Victory and it has a sort of sports theme going on, which by the way, interesting that we had two V named islands in a row, but this is a horse jumping area. I don't know what the official name for a horse jumping area is, but isn't this cool? Like what a unique, what a unique build idea, which is the point of the video, but how cool is that? You can spectate from up here so you can have a bit of a view or you can run on down and maybe even role play that you're the horse jumping. I don't know why I said that, but I think this is super cute. Look at the little horseshoes too. Matilda is always great about details, so I'm not surprised, but this is just such a cute build. And there's even a trophy at stake here, so all the more reason to put your all into it. I think this is just, ah, oh, it's adorable having these little, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the Mario blocks in use here. But this is such a cool way to set up horse jumping. Up next here on the beach, we have a fisherman's hut, which I think is super cute. I feel like I don't really see the actual player house used as a fisherman's hut quite often. I do see that with villager homes, but I think it's so cool to have a little actual resident representative house out here and all of the items are really fitting and cute. This island in general is very colorful, by the way, so I love this house customization. I feel like it really speaks to that. And the interior is also designed to fit that, so it's like a little fish market fish restaurant situation. I think it's so pretty. Also, the fact that they're jarred fish is so funny. Look at us go. Look at us go. We've got a cooler over here. It's fresh fish right off the water. I mean, what better way to eat seafood than in a little restaurant that is right on the beach? It doesn't really get fresher than that. Also love this little shining turtle. This is so cute. Also, I just want to appreciate the ceiling decor here because you can't really see it when you're just walking, but it's like so expertly done so it doesn't feel cluttered, but it feels full and nice. And I don't know, it's just a nice visual experience. But here's a little look at the fisherman's hut. Again, I think it's so cute. Also, can we appreciate my outfit for a second? I'm super cute too. Look at us being cute together, me and this fisherman's hut. Okay, everyone shut up because this entire island is like one big gingerbread house. It's called icing. It's in the snow, which makes sense because now it looks like everything is coated in icing. Are you joking? This entire island is a cool build. I'm not kidding, which by the way, if you wanted to tour the islands I'm showcasing, I will put the creators and their dream addresses in the description so that you can check it out. Yeah, look at this. That is so cool. Oh, this one has some decor, bro. How cute. How cute. An entire island that's made out of like gingerbread house. Like vibes is, uh, oh my, I'm like shocked. I can't like mentally process what I'm seeing. How is this Animal Crossing? A whole gingerbread island called icing. 
that is so cute and I do I love that it's winter that just adds so much this isn't snow it's icing I want to eat it also look at this little chocolate milk stall get me out of here I need you to like mentally prepare for this build it's super duper cool okay we are on the yellow brick road which of course leads to uh, the Emerald City from Wizard of Oz. Are you joking, bro? Like, are you kidding? Look at this. It's so cool. It's so cool. All of the ice items are so perfect for this. I love that you can actually come in line the flower field. Like, what is happening? And if you follow the yellow brick road, you can get to the initial area, by the way with all of, I can't remember what the little people are called, oh my gosh, but you can see Glinda the Good Witch here. Isn't this so cool? You follow the yellow brick road all the way to Oz. We just like, we got to speed run it. We got to speed run getting to Oz, but isn't this so cool? Like, oh my goodness. Up next, we've got a little land bridge with a surprise and I think it's so cute. Look at the little, the little lead up here. And then you've got what, Totoro? This is Totoro, correct? Am I correct? Yes. Studio Ghibli, of course. Ghibli? Why am I losing my mind today? It's Studio Ghibli, right? Okay. Anyway, I think this is super duper cute. I love the pathway here beneath. This is like a little raised land bridge. You can pass this gorgeous waterfall too. I just think this is super cute. And I love the concept of like following a pathway for a little surprise. I wanna go to sleep now. Okay, this next one could be both in this cool build ideas video and in like just a most beautiful builds I've ever seen video because are you kidding? This is a little lavender oil factory. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at the little purple hyacinths as lavender out here. The decorative bottles with labels, everything is gorgeous. And that pergola at the top is so perfectly placed. What a cool fake building. Like everyone shut up, just appreciate this. It's gorgeous. I love the windmill, the little waterfall. This is so stunning. I wanna live here. I think the purple is just beautiful. And then there's also a little door over here. A little lavender oil factory. You can come get your essential oils here, of course. It's adorable, I love it. Up next, and I've come to the end here, we have a little food truck stand. It's like ongoing for a while. So we have this ice cream, then we have burgers. This is super cute and it reminds me of ketchup. So I hope she's a villager on this island. And then moving to the right, we have a little pizza food truck and tacos. So it's just a long stretch, really well decorated in my opinion, by the way. Super just gorgeous. I love all the colors. It's so vivid. We have a lot of primary colors at play here and I like the variety. It's so realistic. And then it ends with this little vending area. If you don't want to get anything from the food trucks, you can just get a little drink and a tiny snack, you know? But this is so cute. The decor in use is perfectly done. And like I said, the variety is great. It's like what you would expect if you were going to a little food truck setup to get your to get your dinner. Look at the little pizzas and the salad bar, the pizza truck. This is adorable. Up next is this gorgeous island, which we just happen to be standing in the rock garden that is absolutely stunning. This is like a little meadow core island. And I wanted to showcase this area because it has a sunken river. I am a uh, sunken waterfall connoisseur, but I absolutely love this sunken river working its way through this neighborhood. There's obviously a little house over there with a frog villager. And I just think it looks so lovely. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And imagine living there, like he's so lucky. But yeah, this is part of an extended neighborhood over here, which is super cute too. I love the colors and uh, just what a cool build, you know? And last but certainly not least, check out this candlelit forest. First of all, so many candles. These must have taken ages to acquire. But oh my gosh, we've got B. Is that, is her name B? Yeah, hi B. But yeah, this forest is so nicely illuminated. It's, oh, what a vibe. And these like twilight hours absolutely stunning. 
Thank you so much to my channel members. You all mean the world to me. Thank you for your support. And if you're not a member and would like to become one, I will put the link in the description for you. That's all from me today, friends. I hope you are super inspired to work on your island. I hope you really enjoyed these cool and unique build ideas and also beautiful builds. These are just top notch inspiration for your island. Thank you so much to the creators and I will see you all next time. Bye.